In our last video, we were messing with various uh, CV routing possibilities up here in the Lifeforms module, and we were listening to the sample and hold. I'm going to unplug that now that we've heard it. And plug us back into the main output so we have the advantage of our our little VCA that we can like play notes with something a little more musical. Now I'm gonna slow this down to about there and I'm gonna this part of life forms I'm not real fond of the, there's these five little tiny buttons and these four lights and this kind of defies the uh, the whole thing about modular analog for me is it's really physical and there's one controller per parameter. So every one of these jacks, every one of these knobs, they just do one thing and it's labeled here on the panel, tells you what it does and you can sort of, you can see everything. And if you want to adjust something, you just reach out and tweak it. You don't have to click through menus and, and uh, you know, shuttling back and forth through secret functions on a tiny screen. Well, right here, these are multifunction buttons and they do different things depending on what lights are lit up and how fast they're blinking. And uh, I suppose over time, if I use it a lot, I'll gradually remember what these things do. But for right now, I had to make me a little cheat card. Because that's the other thing about this darn modern world. Nobody prints a manual anymore. The manual for this is a PDF file which I guess would be great if I was using it in conjunction with a laptop computer or something. If I was recording on a PC, then I'd have my manual right there. That makes sense, but I don't do that. I'm pretty old school. I have a hardware recording deck. My computer is in the other room, so having it as a PDF, for me, it's inconvenient. And I didn't want to print it out for the same reason that Pittsburgh didn't want to print it out. So I've got the, the, the crucial info on a little card here. Anyway, what we've been in is just regular play mode. I press a key, it plays a note. But there is an arpeggiator mode. If I press the right button, this should put us in arpeggiation mode. And now, I can hold down a chord and it'll cycle through those notes following the tempo of the clock that I have set. I release it, it lets go. Now I can press the hold button. Now this is blinking and I pressed a chord, I let go but it remembers those notes and will continue playing them. So it's very useful if you want to have something running and then get up here and start messing with it and have it automatically playing so you can hear how your changes are affecting the sound. It's really blippy. I'm going to do this so that we get some because the triggers for the arpeggiator are really short. There's, I don't know, there might be a way to lengthen those gates, but I didn't see it. All right, we got this. And it'll play the notes in the order that I press them, so I was like,
now we got this running. It would be nice to bring back our drums so we can hear them all together.
now, so whatever we do is going to have to happen in the next video.